Good evening, welcome to St. Jean Francis de Chantal. We especially welcome any visitors that are visiting us this evening. <coughs> we remind you of our special intentions for this Mass for the parishioners. Please join me in singing our opening hymn, number 879, Hail Holy Queen and Throne Above, number 879. Please stand. Hail Holy Queen and Throne between your offspring and hers. 
He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness for the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord in his song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing to the Lord in his song, for he has done marvelous deeds. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist in the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Then the angel said to her, 
Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. You shall name him Jesus. You will be great. You will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom will be without end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you in the power of the Most High, who will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. This is the sixth month of her confinement, for nothing is impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, I am a servant of the Lord. Let it be done unto me as you will. And with that, the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the natural conception and like all doctrine and dogma of the church, much has been written and studied about the natural conception. We can indeed dwell upon that point, but the important thing is not the dogma or the, the uh, doctrine, but it's what we hear in today's gospel. We hear two things. One, the angel tells Mary, be not afraid. Be not afraid. You have found favor with God. And secondly, and probably more importantly, the angel says to her, for nothing is impossible with God. I've said so often about God's plan for us, and God has a plan for each one of us. And like the man conception, the doctrine and dogma, it's not for us to understand. It's for us to accept with faith. And God, that we have indeed found favor with God, created in God's image, we have found favor with God. And we are called to indeed trust God's plan for us. For nothing is impossible with God. As we celebrate this solemnity, may we indeed trust in God's plan for us. And may we indeed repeat the last part of today's gospel. That may that little prayer be of Mary's be a prayer of ours. I am a servant of the Lord. Let it be done unto me as you will. In one voice, we profess our one faith. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Lord and Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and then by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We place our needs in our hearts. <coughs> And indeed, our thanksgivings in the hands of the loving Father. For all members of the church, may God help us grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders in government, may God strengthen them in their efforts to protect all life from conception until natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For expectant mothers, may God's grace be poured out upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the community gathered here, may God heal us of all that might separate us from his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, marked with the sign of Christ's love, May they rest in the perfect communion of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our merciful God will hear the intentions of this Mass, the requests in our intercessory prayer box and website, and the private prayers we carry in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious, loving God, you know our hearts and our prayers long before we voice them. In your love and in your mercy, may it be granted to you, we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 458. I sing a maid, number 458. Salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed, longed for him with the love beyond all telling. John the Baptist was his herald and made it known when at last he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice in the gift of his nativity, that when he comes, you will find us watchful in prayer, and our hearts with wonder, praise, and awe. And so with all the angels we praise you in joyful celebration we acclaim. Grant peace in our day that 
by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give Look not in our sin, men of faith, and your church. In grace and grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Communion hymn is number 889. Hail Mary, gentle woman, number 889. <coughs> Thank you. 
gracious and loving God, you've called us to the one table. You partake of the one bread, the one cup, so as to become the one body of Christ the church. May we become the mystery that we've celebrated. We ask all of this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 875, Praise Me the Lord This Day, number 875.